Greetings, salutations, happy 2026, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take two data sets. You can see data set number one, data set number two, right. And what we're gonna do is you can see each column has a different data type. That's an integer, that's text, this is time, decimal, and date. And the same here, date, time, text, integer, and decimal. What we're gonna do is we are going to append these two data sets based on the data types. And then it will end up something like this, based on the data types. Well, we're going to learn a lot of cool things in Power Query today, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, as always, what we do is we click our data set, the first data set, and we simply go to data and say from table or range. Well, this one, if you look at that, it already detected our data types, but just some small things. It didn't do it correctly. This one is correct as a whole number. That's correct. The second one is the stock, uh, the stock which is text. This one, time purchase, that's picking up as a number. That should actually be time. Price, that's correct as number. And date purchase should just be date and not date time. Correct. And I'm quite happy if you look at the advanced editor, Let's quickly rename it to source one and then that, let's call that type one. And we are simply gonna say that, and let's just quickly format this so we can see what this actually does. So it puts it out nicely. There we go, there we go. And we're gonna return type one. Okay, so now we clean that up, that's perfect. I wanna do the same with table two. So for now, I'm just gonna say close and load. I'm too lazy to, lazy to type all of that. I'm just gonna say uh, connection only. And take the second data set, go to data and say from table or range. And now that does the same thing. Let's just quickly check the data types here. That first one should be date. Second one is actually time. This one is text, that one is int, and that one is number. Cool. What I can do is I can just quickly grab this code over there. It's exactly the same as the previous one, just in context of the second table. Copy that out. Let's go back to table one and open the advanced editor. And I'm simply going to paste that in there. Let's just say this is source two and let's paste that in there. So source two is from table two. That's cool. Let's rename this one to type two and that's going to become source two. And let's just format this as well. The same as the other one. The columns are not perfectly aligned. So appending them, they have different names and also they're in a different order. So appending them will not be conventionally possible, right? Okay. So let's just return type one over here. See what happened, cool. So we basically got that in there, right? We can actually delete table two there. So now let's go back to advanced editor. Okay, cool, so we got our two data sets, but what I'm gonna show you now is to use a cool new function called, let's call this schema, and let's say table schema, and we simply feed it, let's give it type one, table type one, and let's return schema in there and let's see what this does the so table schema simply returns your metadata of your data set so it gives you the column name first the position and the name of the the type name of each column and the kind and all of the cool stuff that you need but what we want to do is we're going to use two columns we're going to use the name and we're going to use the type name this is what we're going to use we are going to re rename both these data sets we're gonna rename these columns to the actual data types. And for type two, we're gonna rename each column to the actual data type using the table schema. Okay, before we can do that, so we know we're gonna use that and that, but let's quickly see how our rename works. So let's look at this one. Let's say I wanna rename stock. I'm just gonna double click there. Let's call this James stock. Click that, say insert step. See what this function does. Table return columns takes a table as an input. Then it creates a list of lists, right? And says the old column name was stock and the new one is James stock. And that actually, that's how we need to give the data to this function, to this function in order to rename things. Okay, so we need to create that from our schema over here. It's basically gonna say, take this and then create a list. This is the old name, this is the new name. That's what we wanna achieve. I'm just gonna quickly remove that. Cool, let's go back to schema. I'm gonna open the advanced editor. Okay, in order to do that, so schema is quite handy. In order to do that, we need to use a cool function that basically will take this data types, the schema for each of these, and then rename it to that. So I'm gonna use a cool function called list zip. So list zip basically goes, it takes one list, another list, and it zips it together. Give you examples. So if we take list zip over here, I'm just gonna copy this out. Let's create a new step in there. Let's call this zip demo. 
I'm just going to paste that in there and then let's return the zip demo. So you can see we have two lists, ABC, ABC capitals. List zip does, it basically brings them together. So it says A, first uh, list, and the first position of the second list. So it basically pairs them together. So that is what we need to achieve with the schema. We want to zip name to type name. All right. So let's quickly do that. Let's say names. I'm going to say list zip. But instead of doing that, in there, I'm going to simply say, cool, from my schema table, return the name, which is that column over there, comma, from my schema table, return the type name. So you can see there, this is our list of lists, says stocks should become that. This column stock should become that. So the name is going to become the data type. Pretty cool. If we do that, we can then append things based on that. Okay, now we're going to use the table rename. And in there, I'm simply going to say table rename columns. And I'm going to say, like you saw there, I'm going to say type one table. Yes, and I'm going to simply give it my names. The previous step. And let's remember to put a comma in there. And then let's return the table rename and say, okay. So now you can see my table has been renamed from you can see number of stocks, stocks, stocks to the actual data types as the column names. So now we can do something cool there. Okay, so I don't want to write this code again for this chunk, this source over there. I want to create a function. So I'm going to convert this into a function. So let's say schema fx for function equals let's say table as table that's going to be your input let's do a rocket ash and we're going to say let and in the let we're going to say schema is perfect but not the type we're going to feed that the table from the function names is perfect we're going to take that from schema and this one is not going to take from it's going to take it from table and the names will come from names that's perfect and now we're just going to say in and we're going to return table rename but now what we have is we have a little function okay so if we do that you're going to see it's going to return a function so we can give it basically a table as an input okay so let's go back so what we want to do is now we want to push our two source one and source two through there and append them okay but this function basically converts any data set to converts the column names to that of the data type. All right, so we're going to say joins. And I'm first going to say, let's invoke that function schema fx. And let's send it our type 1. And let's see what that did. Here's our type 1, and it's going to return it with the columns. That's pretty cool. And we're basically there, because all I need to do now is I'm going to say, cool. I like that, but let's do the same now. Let's call schema fx, but Leon, let's send a type. Now it's going to append it to perfectly. You see, there we go. We actually solved our problem. We solved our problem. We've actually now appended it based on the types. We actually done. We actually done. So we can return this. There we go. That's our solution. But you might actually want to go in quickly and let's say we want to rename it to everything that was in type one, right? What we can do is we can go back to this editor. Let's quickly do that. That's just, this is just nice to have final. We can say table column names and we can say that's from the joins and we can say table column names and that would be from, I think we said from table type one. We want to kind of join them together. So I'm going to put them in a list. So we'll wrap them in. Now we're going to say list zip so list zip is pretty cool for renaming things like this right and we're going to wrap it up let's quickly see what names final return and we'll just return a pairing cool 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 and now it's quite simple because what we can do is we can just say there cool table rename we want to rename columns we want to rename joins and to rename it using that function there and just close it out and we say go and there we go. We actually did it. We did, went a little bit, little bit further than usual. And there we go. It's all done. It's all done. You can see now we achieved the magnificent result of appending two data sets based not on the column names, but actually 
the data types. And we use some cool functions, list zip, table schema, pretty, pretty excellent. Well, I hope you learned something new. BA Sensei, signing out.